this is Jeff from Studio 41 Gaming, and we're back with another Smite God, and we're looking at Niza. Now, this is a short disclaimer. This is probably going to be my last Smite God video for a while. Um, the more I've been playing a ton of Smite recently, and it, I've noticed, been noticing a disturbing trend. Seems like like one every, in every three games I've been playing, my team wants to freaking kill each other for unknown reasons, and it's just been getting on my nerves, so... Probably going to be the last one for a little while as I'm going to be taking a little break from Smite. But let's get on to Niza. The item order I've got here, first we've got Warrior Tabby, standard stuff here, physical power, physical power and movement speed. Uh, next we've got Almighty Deathbringer, <laughs> one of the most expensive items in the game, but it's here because of Niza's abilities and we'll get into that w <laughs> way more in a minute or two. But next we've got Deathbringer. And next we've got Jotun's Wrath, a uh, big time assassin item, physical power, mana, penetration, cooldown reduction. Next we've got Malice, a uh, big time physical power and critical strike chance. And then it's a really nice passive of 75% of your total physical power has physical damage over the next three seconds after you crit on them. And next we've got Titan's Bane, uh, physical power and big time penetration. And then next we've got Magi's Blessing. Basically, once you get these first five items, you win. Uh, you're going to be killing, you're going to be doing ridiculous amounts of damage. And then this is just for if you get way ahead, get, get some defense and really nice uh, passive for absorbing CC. Now we've got Purification Sanctuary for Relics, so pretty much standard stuff there. Now for Niza's abilities, his passive is when he hits an enemy with a basic attack and an additional stack. He, just, he generates stacks when he hits with basic attacks and generates two with critical strikes. And then he activates his Flaming Spear to consume those stacks and heal himself. But basically with this uh, God Builder build, um, you're going to basically want to max out uh, Ring Toss as quickly as you can. And then after that, you're going to go for a lot of his uh, Sash ability. You'll see why soon enough. And then Flaming Spear late because it is probably your least important ability. But... Universe Ring Toss, uh, basically he just throws the ring and it bounces around. If it, You know what it is. It, it sounds like a freaking pinball bumper whenever it's bouncing around. It applies a debuff and slows people and gives Niza a, a movement speed buff. And then we've got Flaming Spear. Uh, basically it raises his attack speed and critical strike chance for a short duration. Then that's what triggers his passive. And then we got to start getting into the dangerous stuff here, and that is his sash. This thing is disgusting. It you pull your it CCs the enemy, and you pull yourself in, and then the ability also has a chance to critically hit. This is why we build Deathbringer because this ability, if you're hitting it consistently, it is ridiculous. And then we have. Niza's ultimate, which is probably one of the uh, most well-known ultimates in the game. He dashes forward, hits an enemy up, and then when you land, you have a chance to land three critical strikes, and then he slams them back down. This, this ability, I do believe this ultimate has the potential to be the most overpowered ultimate in the game. <laughs> uh, but... Let's get into how to play this guy, and we'll really get into uh, how he actually can be pretty tough to play. But piggybacking off what I said about Niza's ultimate, while it could be the most OP ultimate in the game, it also has the distinction of probably being the hardest ultimate to land in the game. You will miss it when you are using this ultimate. It's not a matter of if you will, it's a matter of when. And 
it rewards you for if you are able to land it from a distance because you instantly bounce back to your starting position after you execute it. But it is <laughs> it really can be annoying if you miss it because it's got a pretty decent cooldown and you're not going to go out of your way to build cooldown reduction with these are so it's just a matter of when you miss it it's going to suck <laughs> but overall with Niza, um you can get away with being a bit aggressive early you just have to be careful because you are pretty squishy but if you land that if you can chase after someone hit them with your sash hopefully finish them in one or two basic attacks after that you're going to be doing pretty well early game but you if you want to build some defense I would totally understand that because Niza definitely gets up close and personal with his attack so he doesn't really have an escape so he's just got to be if you build some defense it totally makes sense but as you can see from this picture it, you can be pretty freaking disgusting with Niza. <laughs> if you are executing everything, not missing your sash, not missing your ult, you can have insane games with him. Because it's, he just has a ton of sustain, for one thing. He's not total burst. He can, if you pull yourself in, you can hit your basic attack or two after that to finish someone. If someone else is a little bit weak, you can hit your spear drop them in a couple of critical hits. Uh, you can you have the potential to kill people with your uh, universal ring toss thing. <laughs> uh, you can kill someone with your ultimate from probably about half health. Um, you, you can just do so much with Niza. It He has tons of options to kill people. It's really, f he's a blast to play, even if you aren't having the best game. Like, I was... Uh, was recording. I, every game I recorded, I was getting freaking stuck with crap teams or teams that wanted to kill each uh, wanted to kill each other, like I mentioned earlier. But this guy is an absolute blast to play. He's, he definitely has a high skill cap. If you can pull him off, he's probably the most dominant assassin in the game. But thanks for watching.